Hey everybody, this is John. Welcome to the premium video. Just kidding, the free video. Let's go ahead and talk about the markets. And what I'm gonna look at first on a weekly and a daily chart is just the indexes themselves. Obviously after hitting the 34 and getting the election results, the markets have exploded higher, uh, destroying shorts. I've been mostly watching this. We've done a few trades here and there, but I went into the weekend flat. This is, you know, trading, the making money is, the easy part in trading, keeping it is the game. It has been best trading year ever. And the last thing I want to do is make a huge, huge bet, a binary bet for the election, and it didn't work, and it would not work out. So in retrospect, boy, I wish I would have bought a million call options right there, but that's okay. And I'm bringing this up because we had some conversations today in the room. It's like, gosh, you know, uh, some folks had caught some of these moves. Some folks were short and getting destroyed. Um, some were in cash. And it's just the questions of, man, what, is there anything we could have done different this week? Remember, the week that we're in happens once every four years. You know, there's not, uh, you know, the idea that um, as, a, as a trading, as a business is essentially having a, a setups that over the course of 25 trades produce income. And it doesn't really matter what's going on. Um, something like this, yeah, it's a little bit of a special event, so it makes sense not to make any huge bets if your main goal as a business is to continue to generate and manufacture those dollars over every block of 25 trades. And so that makes sense. So on something like this, the question is always, well, what's the, now that it's over, where do we dive in? Do we short this right here? You know, what do we look at? And so what we want to look at is just essentially asset flows. And you can see that money is pouring into things like like Bitcoin, Bitcoin up over a thousand dollars today, um, and and continuing to go. Um, we love this. We've been we've been picking it up and buying it. And the question is, do you chase it here? You know, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, I do think is going to be at new all time highs, but it's also going to have 20 and 30 percent correction. So this is something that if you want it, you just buy it every week. You know, buy a, put a hundred dollars in a Bitcoin, put a thousand dollars in a Bitcoin, whatever it is you want. And this is something that you hold for five or 10 years. This is just something where, you know, it's like a asymmetrical bet where it's like, great, I'm going to take 5% of my net worth. I'm going to throw it in Bitcoin and not worry about it. If it goes to zero, it goes to zero. If it goes to 250,000, it goes to 250,000. It's worth the risk is the point. Um, and then from there, I had a lot of questions on gold. And I've been kind of waiting for gold to get something going here. Gold uh, all looked like it was going to flush here. And after this reaction, I, I have got I've got a, a limit order to buy it at 18.15, um, the futures and GLD, and obviously it hasn't been hit. So I'm going to be watching this because, and what I may end up doing is on the first pullbacks here, if we get it, is just get my position. I do think that between now and the middle of next year, gold does hit new highs, and so. Uh, at this point, I'm not really too concerned if I'm off by $100 on my entry. I just want to acquire the position. All right. For tomorrow, uh, some of, one of the stocks I like here that's not already off and running is Zoom. Uh, for Zoom, we've got some nice little hooks and buy signals on a couple of different indicators we follow, and essentially just looking for a move to this top of this trend line, which is would take it to about $515, so about another $20 or so of upside, and it's not something that's completely extended at this point. All right, got some other plays we will break down in the premium video. You guys have a fantastic evening, and we'll see you at the next update.